So the garage has velocity v, which is root 3 over 2c, and we know that the shortest possible time before the car can come to a halt is 7 over c. So in that time, the garage will travel a distance 7 over 2 root 3 meters, which is approximately equal to 6, which is definitely more than the 4.5 meters of Alice's car that are sticking out the back. So now we have a resolution to the paradox. There is no way that the back of the car can know that the front has crashed into the garage. So the garage is traveling at some speed, root 3 over 2 c, and the shortest possible time the limo can come to a stop is 7 over c. So in this time, the garage will have traveled a distance of 7 over 2 root 3, which is approximately 6 meters, which is greater than the 4.5 meters that are sticking out the back. So what this means is the entirety of Alice's car will end up squashed up inside the garage, at which point Bob will shut the door. So in both Alice's reference frame and in Bob's reference frame, they both agree that the limo ends up as a nice little cube inside a shut garage.